I'm not going to lie to you, all the abuse that comes in, I screen grab it and I keep it in a folder on my phone, uh, just in case I ever develop any self-esteem, you know. <laughs> Some days I wake up, I think, do you know what, I feel all right about myself. I ever read of that, I think, oh, no, you're awful, you're awful. <laughs> I show them to my kids when they're older, look how much people used to hate your daddy. Mm -hmm. What did you do to upset them, Dad? So, mostly anagrams towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, I, I have usually got it up ready, and that's not a sentence I've fucking used in my life. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. So this is the sort of thing I'm looking for. Now, I'll show you that. I know you're not going to be able to read that, but I only show you it so you know it's real, right? I don't want you to think I've made this up, because some of this language is quite ripe, uh, and I would hate for you to think I've made this up to upset you. This is the sort of conversation two lads will have about me of an evening, and they copy me in, in case I'm curious. So this one come in last year, it starts off, a guy called Bob, about 10 o'clock, he tweets me, he says, I've never liked John Richardson. <laughs> right, that's a good start, isn't it? Never. Because <laughs> never's not just me as a comedian, is it? Never's my whole life. <laughs> never suggests, like, even when I was a kid, this guy was just walking up and down his corridor. Oh, there's a little prick somewhere. <laughs> there's a little Super Mario Brothers cardigan on, I bet he's down at the playground checking for stones in a sandpit so no one gets hurt at playtime. <laughs> He's got me bang on, to be fair. Um, he says, I've never liked John Richardson. Imagine the first day he saw me on telly. Poor bastard, hard day at work, sits down with his tea, puts the telly on. You are shitting me. <laughs> How many years have been telling you I hate this prick, Margaret? <laughs> All your life, Bob. All my life, Margaret! He's finally had enough last year, he tweets me, he says, I've never liked John Richardson, he's about as funny as. Right, and these are always my favourites, because then you get a funny little image, and if you've not heard it before, it makes you laugh, they'll generally say something like, he's about as funny as a shit on a bouncy castle. And <laughs> you can't help but laugh if you haven't... It's instantly picturable, isn't it? Just <laughs> everyone at the fair having a good old bounce like that. Someone clocks the turd on that front edge. <laughs> Selfishly, they think, well, I'll just bounce away from it. I'll just bounce away from it. <laughs> of course, because of the physics, it chases after him, doesn't it? <laughs> Pretty soon, they're all pinned up on that back wall. Stop bouncing, Vicar! Stop bouncing! <laughs> you can't stop bouncing, can you? You throw yourself down, you'll only bounce higher. <laughs> they're up higher, the turd's up higher. It's nutting, people, now. Just get it off me! <laughs> I'm done with that image there. If you enjoyed it, carry it on in your own leisure. <laughs> I've never worked out how the turd gets off the bouncy castle. Do get back to me. I don't know if someone volleys it off like that. Or <laughs> maybe someone scoops it up, a hero takes it on the chest, literally. <laughs> Tries to get it out of there. Anyway, we don't know. We don't know. He didn't go with that anyway. He went a different direction, Bob. He says, I've never liked John Richardson. He's about as funny as a Yugoslavian rapist. <laughs> yeah. It gets that reaction everywhere, so don't feel bad. It's a few sort of shocked whoops there, and some people start laughing and think, oh, shit, no-one else is laughing. I probably shouldn't. <laughs> and someone laughs too loud and too early, as if to say, oh, I forgot I'd written that. <laughs> yeah. Now, obviously, the second work is gruesome, isn't it? The second word's horrific. He's, he's trying to be brutal there, but it's the first one, isn't it? It's that first word you think, well, where do the Yugoslavians come into this? <laughs> I was looking at that thinking, there hasn't been a Yugoslavia since the early 90s. <laughs> he must have Googled, where are the least funny rapists? <laughs> I guess he's been linked to a survey from some time in the 80s, you know, when that sort of thing didn't seem so deplorable, and he's thought, well, I'll just go with the stats as given. So he sent that in. <laughs> I was staring at that for ages, thinking I'm going to have to reply to him. Just say, look, Bob, I know you don't like me, but can I ask why you said Yugoslavian? Because I can't sleep. <laughs> I didn't get a chance anyway. His mate Mel replies. So Mel's obviously up. He's seen that message, and he gets all excited. He's like, oh, we're hating someone. Yeah! I was nearly going to go to bed. I'd have missed this. Right, so he's all excited. He's got a slight problem, Mel, that he doesn't know who I am. Uh, shouldn't stop him hating me, should it? So his first message is just a fact-finding mission. He says to Bob, he says, which one's John Richardson? Right, it's not that upsetting, really, that, is it? No apostrophe S in ones, but I didn't get into that. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest, there's bigger trouble coming for me than his spelling and grammar. <laughs> Which is otherwise impeccable, I have to say. Capital W, capital J-R. Question mark with a double space, you don't see a lot of that. No H in my John, I've got mates who can't remember that. So <laughs> the guy can obviously spell, he just doesn't use apostrophes, which suggests there's some other reason he's not using them. I start to think, well, maybe he's worried we're going to run out. Maybe he's sick of going in the butchers, seeing sausages with an apostrophe S. Yes. You know, most of us just move on, not Mel. He's looking at that thinking, stop bloody wasting them. <laughs> stop wasting them, we're going to run out. Right, I'm not putting mine on thin tonight, I'll put them down in the basement. Yeah, they'll all come round Mel's house, come the shortage. Mel, can I have one of your apostrophes? I'll say, no, you should have looked after your own. 
Now he's got a basement full of them, and they just waist high. He gets naked once a month and just slides into him like that. <laughs> Rubs them all over his nipples. So, who possesses all the possessives? You do, Melvin. You do. Oh, bloody hell, what's that? That's a comma. That shouldn't be down here. That should be over there in comma draw 64. <laughs> no, don't, please. Don't. You'll watch it back and you'll hate yourself for clapping at that. You really will. <laughs> so anyway, he says, to, he says to Bob, he says, which one's John Richardson? The little gay-looking cunt. You laugh till you're finished, by all means, you... <laughs> Can I thank you there for making that the longest laugh of the night so far? That's really... It's lovely to come to Blackpool and have them unite as one to say, well, that is bang on, that really is. <laughs> as a four-word description of your work, John, that is absolutely perfect. I mean, you're right, Bob rounds a whole chat off, he says, that's the one, that's him. <laughs> Naturally. I screen grab that, I look at it every day, and every day it cheers me up, because those are real men. Those are actual men who exist, and that is a part of their life. They're going to die one day, and that conversation is a part of their life. And I start to think, maybe they hate me in person now. You know, like any hobby, it starts online, you get into it. Maybe now they meet up at weekends, and their wives make them a little pat lunch. Are you off hating Bob? They go, yeah! <laughs> who are you hating this weekend? Just, 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 just. <laughs> You've always hated him, haven't you? Yes, yeah, since he was a kid, I fucking hated him. <laughs> Where are you hating him this weekend? At the seaside. <laughs> Meet up on the special bench they've arranged to meet up and they eat the sandwiches and hate me for a bit. I ate his shoes. Yeah, good one, Bob. And his eyebrows. Yeah, good one, Mel. <laughs> eat their sandwiches and then they drink their drink and it's all finished. They probably hang around for another hour or two just looking out to see because sometimes their little fingers touch just there and they never mention it, but it's electric for the pair of them. It really is. That's Bob and Mel, you know, and, and I, the reality is I don't let tweets like that upset me because I'm never going to meet a mama. And if I did, they'd probably be nice to me because that's what people are like, the cowards. And I know that because I know how I feel when I beat my horn and someone stops their car. I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I shit my pants and I apologise and I say it was probably my fault. You didn't need to indicate it should have been clear why you were reversing round that roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get upset, it's taken me years to have the confidence, but now I just think you can't live your life trying to please people who don't already like you. Your obligation in life is to people who do like you, try and make their life better, right? And by that, I mean, without sucking up, people like yourselves. People who follow me on Twitter and you come to my gigs. Now, you send me a message and I care about that because I think, well, you know, we have an existing relationship. So you'll just message me to say you're excited about the gig sometimes. You'll send me a little message saying, oh, I'll have to watch John Richardson in a week, hashtag dead excited. Now, sometimes I think you've got excited too early. And that is stress to me. I think, don't get excited yet. Not for a week, you know. I want you excited on the day. About five o'clock, you get in from work. What are we doing? Oh, we're going to that thing. That'll be all right. Yeah. If I laugh once, that'll do me, to be honest. <laughs> That's the bar I want set. I don't want a week of just thinking of you sat in your house like, oh, my God, we're going to go and see John Richardson. <laughs> That's too much, to be honest. Sometimes it's months. The minute you book the tickets, I'll get a message. I say the gig's in July, I'll get a message in December, like, off to watch John Richardson in July, hashtag date night. Now I think, well, now I've got to keep this loveless marriage alive, have I? <laughs> <laughs> These poor bastards only get one night out a month and they have to plan it months in advance, and I'm it for July. I can't be your one a month, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> You'll have an argument on the way back while I'm booking the next thing. Oh, fucking do, then, I don't care. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.